Hello and welcome to another video. Today we take a look at luggage, which is a game about Steve who is carrying some very important luggage with him. Thus, it's called luggage. Makes what all a sense. Rough right? trip. We arrived in Los Angeles. Thank you for flying Hubris Airlines. What they can only afford a voice uh, text to speech assistant? That just that sounds exactly like that's text to speech assistant. Anyways, I'm gonna tell Jessica. I didn't know. I didn't even know you, there was voice acting. The graphic style is interesting. And is it just me or did this airline announcement it sound exactly like She will never forgive me? Like a text to speech assistant. But whatever. Let's just ignore that. Let's also ignore that all these people look exactly the same, just with different colours of shirts and hair. Don't forget your luggage, sir. You should see it on your way out. What kind of an accent was that? That sounded weird. Whatever. Uh, so, we are in Los Angeles, and those are trees. I have no idea if that's important. Good, um, I have a J4 journal. Inventory. What's in my inventory? We don't have anything, I don't have anything on me. Too bad, and there's nothing in his journal either, right? Let's just sprint around then, we can jump as well. Hello, sir! Ha ha ha! That surprised you, huh? Okay. Uh, right, so let's continue. There's only three kinds of people around here, I think. But whatever, that's not a problem. That's okay. That's all cool. The art style is interesting. I kind of like it. What's that? Should I pick that up? Oh, probably not. Should I go through this door? Probably not. Alright, I guess I was going the wrong way. I should have been going the other way around. Then let's go the other way. Good. Let's, let's do that. This is almost something hypnotic if you just walk down this corridor looking at these pixelish graphics. Yeah. That's that's quite something. And gets more pixelish the further away it is. That is well, interesting. Alright, let's just go through here. I thought there was something written up there, but that's just in more pixels. Right, should we buy something? Mm, maybe a dress. Maybe not. Shoes. We could need some shoes, couldn't we? Some shoes by Asem. Come on, some nice Assam shoes? Wouldn't that be something for you? Hmm, maybe not. Okay, um, should we go through here? I don't know. Maybe let's take a look around first. Let's see what we have over here. Okay, so there's this conveyor thingy with the luggage. Oh, we gotta pick up our luggage, I get it. So, which one is ours, though? I don't know. There goes my luggage. Oh, what a coincidence. Well, there it is, then pick it up. This isn't mine. Which one is yours? That's Gail's luggage. What am I gonna tell the cops when they find out he's missing? Wait. Need to use a payphone to call a taxi now. Can't wait to get home. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why is Gail missing? Did he... Did he kill his mate and... Put the body into a suitcase. Is that it? Dude, this looks so weird if you walk down a code. Oh, the payphone. What a coincidence. Let me take a look around first, because once I do that, some narrative event is going to get triggered, and I don't want that just yet. I need to call a taxi. Yes, yes, yes. Let me just take a look around first. Let me take a look around first. I want to get through this other, this down this other hallway that we had over there, because once I call the taxi, some event in the narrative is going to get triggered, and then things will change. And I want to take a look at all that first. What's the, does the inventory describe anything about luggage? Player luggage. They ain't home yet. So we won't open. We won't, he won't open it then. Okay. Don't open the luggage then. Takes your time. Let's just keep going and there over there. I want to see what's in here. Is there something over here? I want to see that before I make the call. Okay, that's the restrooms. Okay, but we can't get in there just yet. Okay, I just want to make sure that we don't miss something that maybe isn't accessible anymore after we called the taxi. So now we can safely call the taxi. There's no, no, no risk now. No risk other than carrying around that suitcase. That seems to have some risk with it. But hey, we are going to make it. We just need to call a taxi from a payphone in this suspiciously empty corridor. 
Everything is suspiciously empty, by the way. This, this, the terminal, or whatever it's called, that was so large, and no, no one's here. No one's hanging out in the duty free shops. That's weird. Let's just call a taxi now. I need a ride home. I'm at the Hubris Airport. Sure thing, sir. May I get your name? Steve. Great, Steve. A cab will be on its way. You could argue that I'm not a native speaker, but I feel like everyone except our main character sounds rather British than American. But hey, maybe I'm just too stupid to realize it. I don't know. That's just... Let's just whatever. I didn't know how I was going to finish that sentence. I thought obedience hammering you down. I thought I was going to think of a way to finish the sentence while I'm saying it, but that didn't happen, so now we're left with an unfinished sentence. Tragic, tragic, I know. Uh, should I, like, talk with the receptionists? I don't think so. Just have to get out, and why is it called Tubris Airport? I forgot what Tubris meant, but it was, it's not good. So... Wow, that was quick. Yeah, that was suspiciously quick, to be honest. Uh, can't we just walk home, maybe? Uh, surely not. We have to take the taxi. Let's get inside. And let's see where it will take us. Let's see where it will take us. Into a building with a very large door. Um, what's that? Is that, so is that, like, a complex of flats? And our flat is in here, or...? Wait, what's, what sound was that? That's probably just the floor creaking. That's not my luggage. Home sweet home. Man, I regret camping with Gale. Knew it was a bad idea. Open door to my barn. What's with that? That's not his. And can we open any other doors just to be sure? That's just... Uh, that's an elevator. Let's just make sure... No, we can't open anything else. Okay. You know, whenever someone in a game talks about going home, I always think they have, like, a detached house. And I'm always surprised when they're just living in a flat. I don't know why, but it's always... It always gets me. I don't know why. And I don't know why I even bring it up. But hey, I gotta talk about something, haven't I? So, now, let's talk about... Let's talk about how we finally got something in Jordan. Now I just have to unpack and think about what I'm going to tell Jessica. Let's take a look around first. But that was only his body. His head is yet to be found. The killer likely took it as a trophy. A manhunt was underway for the unknown killer, with the only description of him looking like a camper. That was the only witness description of the killer. With what the police knew of him, they searched the woods near the neighborhood for any campsites. Police have reports of an airplane passenger who left the country matching his description. Yep, just as I expected. <laughs> How he got the severed head through airport security remains a mystery. On the night of Halloween in 1970, a man was butchered at his home. Till this day, the killer was never found. The neighborhood of Ellendor was left in shock. A man in his 60s found dead at his front lawn. But that was only his body. Okay, it's repeat, it repeats now. Um, so, it's, 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 it's just as I said it was going to be. Uh, we have... Uh, we, we killed this dude, Gale, and we took part of his body with us. Okay, um, so it's 1970 kind of expected something to be in the 70s because partially because of this architecture but also because of um why exactly did i expect it i know something gave off the vibe of this being taking place in the 70s uh i, I don't exactly know what so it's kind of cool that it did because now could this door realistically lead anywhere isn't it right right that, that, that's the kind of weird. And why are there these... What's this protrusion? What's with that? 
A lot of weird Man stuff going on. Ah, uh, well, can we get anything in the kitchen? I just want to take a look around first before I do something in the narrative. Alright, now let's interact with the luggage. Too far away from the dining table to unpack. Why is he going to do it on the dining table if it's actually a hat? Whatever. A manhunt was underway for the unknown killer. Let's see what we have in the Hang on just a minute. I thought he was going to have the hat inside his suit. Oh man. Ha! <laughs> okay, that was nice. That was a neat trick. It seemed so obvious that he'd have the hat. What the fuck? Am I reliving this nightmare again? And now? Yeah, I mean, you could have thought, okay, it's too obvious that he would have the hat, so it's not going to happen. But then, a lot of the time, these independent horror games are rather predictable, so that's... That's like a, that's like a meta surprise, like 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 it uses like real world expectations to. I, I feel like I'm interpreting too much into this. It was a good what twist. Thinking. Let's just say it was a good twist. Let's just keep it as like that. I know what you were thinking. So, but yes, apparently he did decapitate this dude, Gay. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe that's the twist. Maybe. I wish I'd never thought about it. Should have just cut the firewood and went back to camp. Maybe he isn't the murderer after all. Maybe something completely different happened. Can we go off into the woods? Nope. Okay, we can't. Um. So what did he do? I can't. I'm why? Just why couldn't I let the past be and moved on? I'm starting to feel like he is not the guy who decapitated this man, but did something else. Maybe not even that bad. Maybe he just committed theft. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Gail. I'm sorry. Okay, he is the guy. Why did he do it, though? Why does he keep saying that he's sorry? I mean, what happened here? Or is Gale the guy who committed the murder in 1970 and now our player character Steve? How can I live with myself? I'm a monster. Did he want to avenge that killing, maybe? What's going on now? Oh, I should have to walk towards him. So are we chasing ourselves now? That seems symbolic. What's that huge thing at the end over there? Is that a is that a huge mountain? It looks so weird. Why are we chasing ourselves? Wait, what's happening with the landscape? That doesn't look real. That looks totally not real. Dude, that looks like there's a huge boss fight happening. What is this? Wait, is he gonna jump over there? He's gonna jump off the edge, isn't he? I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to kill myself. Maybe that's why I'm here. Man, what a landscape, though. But if it's just a dream, he isn't going to die. But... But... But, 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 but... But wasn't it just a dream? So, that was luggage then. So, now the question remains. What, where's the head of Gale? If we were the guy they talked about on the television, then where did we put the head? And how is the ending? How, if I mean, he took a picture of that camping site that he committed the murder at. And then he was sucked into it, but he didn't think that was meant to be taken literal. I thought it was just a dream that he's having, and if it was a dream, then how does it make any difference that he killed himself there? I mean, he's just going to wake up and be fine. And why did he kill Gale? What did he even have in the suitcase that no one could know about? I, I'm confused, really. And I kind of feel like that was the intention of the game, so... In that sense, very well done, and even if it was not the intention, then still all the other bits were really good, like the art style was very unusual, the voice acting was really good I have to say, and 
the story, while yes, confusing, which I think was intentional, it was really unusual and really well done, and it did surprise me. So, that was a pretty neat game. If you enjoyed it as well, please give this video a like, it may be shared with someone else who might also enjoy it. If you want to be the first to know whenever I upload new content and help this channel grow, you should subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.